18, 18, 18. Oh, y'all yeah. told me 17 tied it. 18. 30? No, Larry Conley in 1960-61 had 18 as well. Uh, the 35 points is a 30-point game of the year, which breaks. He already had tied for the school record, and now he had owned it by himself for most 30-point yes, yes, games. Yes, 30-point games. 30. <laughs> Sorry, I'm make sure tape recorders got that. Talk a little bit about the second half. Kind of has a 17 point lead, gets down to five. Shades of Missouri, I don't know what happened. <coughs> we just, uh, we started to celebrate early. You know, we, up 15, you know, we just relaxed and they started coming back. We can't, we can't do that. Uh, Oh, definitely. Um, we was up 10, 15 against Missouri. They came back and beat us. And we didn't We didn't want that, you know, two times straight to happen, two losses straight, you know, especially a loss at home. <clears throat> How much was uh, Clint on your guys' mind today? The whole game, you know. Uh, what's going on with him and his family is, is sad. It, we throw our hearts out to him and his family. You know, we we playing for them right now. Yeah, Clint's mom was one of our biggest supporters. You know, she would be at like a lot of road games. Last year, she went to Las Vegas, and uh, I think we definitely just had to come out here and try to get a big win for her. I think we were playing for her tonight. Why you got to put my name in there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's, he stands out so much that people just feel like, oh, they're not that good. You know, they don't do that much when we really don't have to do that much, you know. You just throw the ball in there and he can go get it. So, it's easy. Is that something you guys can kind of hear about? Not at all. My meal ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that boy like 350 pounds. He stepped on my toe <laughs> three times. And the third time it really hurt. Mike, I'm sorry if I missed it, but talk about how you hope for the ball game. I mean, 10 points in about 80 seconds. Oh, I don't, that just wasn't guarding me. I don't know why. Maybe that was a game plan. I don't That just wasn't guarding me. Man. Just, just hit open shots. Yeah, that was that was new to me. I mean, yeah, that was that was new to me. I ain't never seen nothing like that. But uh, my teammates is knocking open that, open up shots, you know, open that up, stop that real quick. Stu, man, it's, it's tough when one of your senior leaders not here with us. But, you know, we had to get this win for him. And I just tried to make shots, tried to control the team, tried to do things that Stu would do, you know, make up for his absence. The way you play the way you missed Missouri, talk about that, what happened? You know, coach's decision, you know. I, I didn't prepare well that week of practice, and coach let me know, and I didn't play that much, you know. Um, he came late, didn't he? He came late. He didn't hear him. Uh, <laughs> we, you know, we just, I said this before, we just celebrated too early. You know, they, we was up 15 and we, we got comfortable. We got, we got happy with our league. Hey, you're the zero player. Is that one of your better games? 
No. I mean, I don't know. You called it. You was watching. I ain't. <laughs> This week, um, the coach figure told us uh, that we had to have an E game this week. Well, today, uh, we had to play with energy, effort, and enthusiasm. So when I get out there, I just try to, you know, do the small things, try to help my teammates out the best I can, help us win. You know, especially with the absence of Stu, you know, senior point guard starter. You know, after how he's been playing, he's been playing very well as of late, and uh, that definitely, you know, hurts your team uh, when you lose a guy like that. So I just come in, try to help as much as I can. Is that it?